What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, so it has been a while, guys, since we've been in Pokemon Heart Gold and all that stuff. Now, this is a postcom now. So, as you can see, guys, we're going straight to the pharmacy because, yes, we got an Ampharos that is sick. So, if you go right here, you can talk to this guy, he will give yourself uh, a secret potion right here. That's right, a secret potion to heal all Pokemon wounds and all that stuff. Wish this guy would actually give us just a little bit more. And, uh, well, if you guys, if you guys, uh, like, you know, can't hear the audio right here, holy crap, it looks, it sounds better. Now, the reason why I switched to, from live comp to spo the post com is because, yeah, my computer, my desktop right here, yeah, wasn't holding on to, uh, well, it was slowing down everything, especially when I'm recording uh, the, the live comp. So, post comp it is, guys, for 3DS only, or no, not 3DS, but DS is now. As you probably already noticed, I put a Pokemon into the PC because we need to go right here and talk to this guy. Of course, he's in shock because some guy scared him into giving him his prize Pokemon. And, well, what will happen is that he will actually let us borrow a Pokemon for a while. He doesn't tell us what Pokemon it is, though. We're thinking it's a strong-ass Pokemon and all that stuff. Yeah, little did we uh, realize is that, well, no, that's the Pokedex right there. Uh, let's go right here, and uh, yes, we get ourselves a Shuckle, or Shucky for short, as you probably already noticed. This Pokemon right here is a Rock and Bug type Pokemon, and its biggest thing is it's a very, very huge tank for, like, defense and all that stuff. That's it. Try and attack it, or try using it for attacks, not going to work. So, uh, let us move on right here. We are in Cyanwood City. This is the place of history and all that stuff. We're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of, a lot of good stuff right here. Great stuff. Bigly stuff, because, yeah, why not? So, let's go back and grab our Pokemon. As you probably already noticed, I've actually organized the PC right here with the Pokemon that I've used in previous generations. Uh, again, guys, sorry for, you know, it has been since October since I've been on, on Pokemon Heart Gold. Um... I am planning on doing better right here. I did record 15 episodes of this whole walkthrough right here, so don't worry, we're gonna have episodes of Pokemon uh, Heart Gold for quite some time right here. Obviously, I did this on Christmas, if you guys haven't noticed, on Shucky's uh, information thing. Now, here it is, Cyanwood City. This is the gym, and this is, uh, yeah, this is the gym leader's wife, of course. She will be telling you about the T the HM Fly. She will actually give it to you after, well, you defeat the Cyanwood City gym leader. Now. We're going to be taking another picture right here, because why not? We're going to be taking so many pictures. The progression of our Pokemon right here, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, we're looking like stud muffins right there. Yeah, buddy, okay. So, let's move on right here. As you probably already noticed, yes, this guy will be talking about the boulders that can be crushed. And there is a cave in here, and this is where the new Safari Zone will be located. Yes, guys, uh, Pokemon Heart Gold, Soul Silver. I guess the cliff's a the cliff the cliff edge gate will be the area where you will be able to go to the safari zone. Now you won't be able to go there just yet. I think you have met the the owner of this place before. I think his name is Boba. Baoba. Baoba. Yeah, I can't pronounce names right. I don't really know. But go north and you'll see a spectacular Pokemon right there waiting for you. But before we do that, let's talk to this lady and well she doesn't really have a lot of people visiting her. Which is okay, because she likes this place because of the sounds of the waves. Now, there is a very cool Pokemon right there by the name of Suicune. Look at that. And Suicune's taking a liking towards us. It's running around and looking at us like, you are worthy of me. Running around and yes, uh, with that coming this guy right here, you seeing he's going to be stuck on you like an STD. It is bad. So now, we're going to have to defeat this guy. We really do. So let's go ahead battle this guy let's get it so here's our first battle against mystery man you seen he is a psychic type trainer and as you probably already noticed I've been using relic in the front because we kind of need to evolve him into Espeon yes can't wait to evolve this Pokemon into Espeon now let's see is there anything else that we need to talk about yes uh, there is there if you guys haven't noticed there has been a change in the background right here yes I've changed it up for you guys because there's been uh, quite a few of you guys out there, not gonna name any names. You know, saying that hey, it would be cool to have a background with your Pokemon team and all that stuff uh, instead of just these two big, uh, big screens. Nobody cares about the second screen, you know that? Yeah, I got you loud and clear. So, yeah, I did a lot of changes. Now, like I said before, guys, what made me change this whole 
this whole, you know, uh, live comp to post comp thing is this. Uh, the desktop that I have used to, I guess, used to be able to, uh, you know, record uh, uh, Nintendo DS games properly, you know. But then as, you know, and more files have been added onto the computer and all that stuff, yes, it took its toll. Plus, using Camtasia Recorder added a little bit more... Just a little bit more to, or a little more pressure into the into the program, which made the whole the whole game the the sounds you know everything sound I guess you know slow, laggy, and then battle time fast and all that stuff. So I do apologize for all that stuff, guys. Now the original plan was to start this game all over, but uh, yeah, I didn't really have that in mind. I, I was like, why why start the game all over if you're just if you're right here, if you're right right here. Plus, that's an extra 25 episodes of of, of, of post calm narration that I don't want to do. So, <laughs> yeah, we're going to continue on right here, guys. It is what it is, but guess what? At least you get yourself a proper walkthrough. The majority of the walkthrough is going to be post calm, but it's going to be cool. Now, uh, let's see. This isn't the first first game that I've done. I've done post calm and all that stuff. It was Pokemon Platinum, and I... I did play this game on my old, and I mean old, uh, laptop. The one that, you know, I used for the first few videos, or the first videos of Draven XC711. Now, using the new laptop, using everything, new gear and all that stuff, it's best to use the postcom because, <laughs> yeah. And I did announce, I think in Pokemon Sword and Shield game, yeah, 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 that, you know, not only will this game be the postcom, but I've also, I will also be doing Pokemon Coliseum and Dark Gale of, or Gale of Darkness, I think, yeah, postcom, every single one of those will be postcom because, well, uh, noise, lots of noise, I would rather, I would rather manipulate it right here onto my program, so yeah. That's the explanation for that, guys. So, uh, here we are, kicking butt, taking names, and yes, Toxic Batman is cursed. Man, why you be cursing all the time, man? Hey, well, Mr. Man is going to come out with his electrode, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Cinder. Haven't seen you in quite some time. It has been since October, guys. Yeah. It has been since October since we've, uh... You know, we, 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 we went back to this game. I've always had it in mind that I will be back. The thing was, when? Uh, I was a little too entertained with Pokemon X. I was a little, little too much entertained with, like, my break and all that stuff. But, hey, you know what? What a, what a good time. What a, what, a, what a good time to come back with Pokemon Heart Gold, since we already have Pokemon Sword and Shield and all that stuff. And, uh, look at this. We defeated Yusin. Hate to admit it, but yes. He, he hates to admit a lot of things. Okay, so after defeating Yusin, he understands why Sweet can keeps it keeps on following us and all that stuff. So he's gonna be seeing us around. He ain't gone for long, and of course our mom's gonna be calling us every single time we win a big battle. Now, let's see. Normally I would stop the game right here because uh yeah, that's who I am. So we're gonna be fast forwarding. Yes, healed up my Pokemon. We're gonna be going into a Pokemon gym battle. Why? Because yes. We need to get a gym badge. I'm not going to leave you guys hanging on the first day back on Pokemon Heart Gold. We're going to get a gym badge. Now, if you guys don't know, in Pokemon Heart Gold, or no, in this place, uh, Sidewood City, the gym leader is Chuck right here training. He doesn't even notice us. He is a fighting type gym leader. And if you guys haven't noticed in my team, I did switch up some of my Pokemon. Pokemon that I don't need in this gym. You know, kind of like Hydra, level 30. Um, and in other Pokemon too. Like talks to Batman. He's taking the lead right here. And I think, I think, I think, I think I put up a psychic Pokemon in there. I don't even know, but we're gonna be kicking butt right here. Let's go defeating Jackie Chan and and, and Bruce Lee right here. Look at this. Hitmonlee using its focus energy. Yeah, not a good idea, buddy. So here we go. Wing attack for the win. Lego. That's right. Now, I did do the opposite. Uh well. I did do the opposite of a, of a, the opposite order in all this, and look at that, Cinder's finally learning a new move, Swift Attack, so let's go ahead and take away Smoke Dream. But anyway, like I, like I was saying, I did went the opposite way in this whole adventure, I went to Mahogany Town first before this place right here, we all know how that gym battle went, pretty hilarious. Kinda wanted to try something new, you know, kinda wanted to go out of order and all that stuff, and, well, I think it's working out pro properly. I think it is, I don't know. Probably. Now, 
Let's see. Now, another thing, too, that I've been doing while I was recording this whole, like, all these 15 episodes of, of Pokemon Heart Gold, I went by the book. I realized that I have a handbook, and I can look for awesome stuff, crazy stuff, you know, secret stuff. A lot of stuff that you can actually find, helpful stuff and all that crud. So it's going to be a little more informational, thanks to the handbook and all that stuff. I might have the handbook right here in front of me, just in case I need to talk about something. But, you know, since i played this game multiple times, it should be easy. I think it should. And look at that, Machoke looking all buff and everything, getting its butt kicked by Toxic Batman. Yeah, that's right. Toxic Batman for the win. And, well, let's go ahead with Cinder getting some more experience points. Kind of getting them to level up because, hey, you know, we kind of need to uh, battle the Steel Tape Gym Leader later on. So, now we're going to be going to the opposite side here, and, uh, well, I prefer to battle him uh, on his, like, yeah, back, like, right behind him, because, yeah, he will block me and all that crud. So, here we go, Black Belt Lao, coming out with Jackie Chan, Hitmonchan, I mean, and, uh, well, I'm talking to Batman, still kicking butt, taking names, at level 26. Let's go with the wing attack right here. Mm-hmm, that's right. Again, the best way to defeat this gym, Psychic-type Pokemon, or... You know, the occasional flying type Pokemon. Now, Pokemon such as Hitmonlee right here will actually have a nice type or, or electric type move just to mess you up. And, uh, well, just be aware of that. And, well, there it is. Hitmonchan has been defeated. Level me up, homeboy. Look at that. Level 27. And it is learning Air Cutter. So now this is a very, very good move right here. Now, Air Cutter is a high critical or critical hit uh, ratio right here. So we're going to be switching it up with Wing Attack since, you know, we kind of, or no, actually, you know, we're going to take away Confuse Ray. I'm kind of like pre-thinking right here. Uh, Air Cutter. A devastating move for fighting type Pokemon. Get the Air Cutter. And, well, that was shocking. I did kick your butt. So now, let's see, we're going to heal up our Pokemon. And, uh, I think we're just going to, I think, I think we're going to be bringing out another Pokemon right here. I think we might even show Hydra. Now... I didn't train my Pokemon much. I do not know why. Yeah, you know what? Like, I, it, it's just like I was on the go. I was on the go. Uh, I did this. Like, I did play this game during Christmas time. And look at this. If you press this button right here, it will actually, uh, you know, bring this whole thing up. And well, he's still gonna be concentrating like Tian Shin Han from Dragon Ball Z. And uh, well, yeah. But like I was saying, guys. Uh, I did play this game, or I did play the majority of the 15 episodes during Christmas time. Yeah, I was that bored, didn't do much. And that was when I was actually thinking to myself, well, maybe I should go back to Soul Silver and just, you know, restart this game. I gotta realize that, yeah, that's probably not gonna happen. Uh, the other thing, too, I, yeah, 15 episodes, I wanted to have enough episodes to just come out and just narrate and all that stuff if I'm not doing that sword and shield and I did a good job of it very very good job of it and stuff and uh, well, nobody was bothering me didn't have work uh, as always and uh, well it worked out for the best because trust me in these 15 episodes guys we will be seeing a few gym battles uh, De defeat, like we're gonna defeat a few criminals and all that stuff, and I think we're just gonna defeat the Elite Four just for casualty, you know? I don't know. I don't know. It's something like that. But we do have enough episodes just to cover this whole month and all that stuff. So there you go. Primate has been defeated. Eat it, Primate. And well, look at that. Talks of Batman, growing level Cinder, looking like a beast. And well, we're just gonna continue on right here with a Mankey. Now I think. Yeah, I think I yeah, I think I don't use Hydra in this episode at all. I just use him as backup because it's at level 30. Again, never trained my I didn't train my Pokémon until like later later on because again, on the go. What's the point? And well, we defeated this guy and now it is time to take on Chuck, the fighting type gym leader. And well, before we do anything, we got to heal up our Pokémon. Got to make sure because uh yeah, he does have an interesting pair. Okay, bring it on. Poof! Made a waterfall right into my head. Arch, why did you stop the waterfall? You spoiled my training. I'm gonna kick your ass. What? You had nothing to do with Pokemon? That's true. Come on, we shall do battle. Uh, of course, I'm paraphrasing a lot. 
So here it is, guys. A gym battle number one, two, three, four, five. I want to say five. Six. Yes, gym battle number six against Leader Chuck. And yes, he's coming out with his primate first. Look at that. Primate at level 29. Again, it is a very, very fast Pokemon. And it is a very strong Pokemon, too. So make sure to have flying and psychic type Pokemon. That way, you know, you get out of here nice and easy. Now, you will try and weaken your defenses with Leer. So it's best to just defeat him first before, you know, getting attacked again. Because, uh uh. You don't want to face a fighting type. So full uh, attack right there. And look at that. Primate has been defeated. Toxic Batman is the victorious one right here. That's right. Cinder getting some points because it's not doing anything. And here he comes out with his final Pokemon, Poliwrath. Now, Poliwrath is both a fighting and water type Pokemon. Be aware of this guy. It also It's also capable of using Hypnosis. It's a 3 one Pokemon. It's very physical, kind of slow. It will use a lot of water type attacks. And, uh, well, the best thing for me to do right now is to fall asleep because why not why not my uh, flood bolt is still a, a a slow Pokemon right there so that kind of just uh, messed up my strategy the strategy was charge up then punch him one uh, one hit KO and all that stuff now I think they do have a uh, focus punch I think focus punch yeah it might be focus punch if it, they do have focus punch which it is look at that you got to hit him right now because that focus punch is a strong one look at that oh Okay, so that did not paralyze this pair of Polyrath. So let's go with a Thunder Punch right here. And well, here comes a Surf Attack. And uh, it looks like to me... Oh, wow, we survived. We survived. One HP. So we get one good hit on this guy. And god dang it, it has a held item right there. So now it's going back to like eh, 30 points. All right, let's see how this is gonna go. Let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon. That's why we bought a few good super potions and all that. Okay, so there it is, a super potion away. And wow, why did I use it? Oh, crap baskets. So yeah, we should have used a max potion or, or a, 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 yeah, a, a, a super duper potion or something like that. Oh uh, god, we, yeah, we, we have a max potion. Let's go right ahead and use another max potion because the next hit, he's going to really, really mess us up right here. So there it is, guys. We're healing up our Pokemon just so it could get hit again and again and again. And here comes a body slam attack. And yes, he is paralyzed. And well, that gives us a little bit of an advantage right here. So now let's go with Thunder Punch. Finish him. And that nearly defeats him. And yes, he is paralyzed. He can't do anything. He's like, no, not yet. Well, oh crud. He's going with another hyper potion. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. So here we go with the thunder punch. Okay, another thunder punch for the win. Come on, finish him. And that was a critical hit. How does it feel to fail, Polly Rap? How does it feel to fail? Not so good. Alrighty, and look at that, Cinder grows to level 32, which is all great, and Fluffbolt gets a lot of experience points, and yes, we defeated Chuck, Chuck Norris. Okay, <laughs> I lost. How about that? Alright, you're worthy of the Storm Badge, and look at that, we get ourselves another badge, the Storm Badge. Yes, it's right there, guys, look at that. And yes, we are now allowed to fly, and we get the TMO one, which is Focus Bunch. Now, again, Focus Bunch... You get hit, won't be able to use it, so yeah, you won't be as lucky. Alright, so after defeating Chuck, his wife will notice that you got the Storm Badge, so she will be giving you the HMO2, which will allow you to fly into town to town. So that is pretty much it for this episode, guys. Uh, of course, Fisherman Walt will be calling us, telling us about you know, his catches and all that stuff. He defeated him and all that crap. So anywho, guys, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode when we go heal up an Ampharos and battle for our next gym badge. See you guys.